Hi everyone, welcome to the first video in my Procreate for Beginners series. My name is Dee from RCD, and today we're going to cover the basics of Procreate, focusing on getting you comfortable with the app's layout and tools. Don't worry if you're brand new to digital drawing or Procreate, we're going to take it slow and cover everything step by step. By the end of this video, you'll know how to start a new canvas, navigate the interface, and even do a little bit of drawing. So let's dive in. Okay, let's start by opening the Procreate app. When you first open Procreate, this is what the gallery looks like. To start a new drawing, you tap this little plus sign in the corner. Now here you can choose your canvas size. For beginners, you can choose any of these presets, but I usually like to work with an A4 canvas. This is good for practicing and can easily be printed if you want to share your artwork later. Once your canvas is open, this is where all the magic happens. Let me quickly walk you through the layout. On the right, you'll see the brush icon. This is where you'll find all your different brushes. Next to it, the smudge tool and the eraser tool. These work the same way. The two sliders on the side control your brush size and your brush opacity. You can experiment with those to get exactly the effect that you want. On the left, there's your color circle. Tap that and you can choose colors using the color wheel or you can create custom palettes. Don't worry about getting it perfect just yet. We'll cover colors more in depth in a future video. Now let's do a little drawing. I'm going to select a basic pencil brush. You can do this by tapping on your brush icon and choosing sketching from your brush library. Then select the 6B pencil. Here I'm just drawing a simple circle. Now, if you make a mistake, it's super easy to undo. Just tap with two fingers on the screen like this. You can redo by tapping with three fingers. To zoom in or out, just pinch the screen with two fingers like this. Now let's say I want to resize the circle. I can do that by selecting the arrow tool here. You can use it to move, rotate, or even resize any shape or object in your artwork. Next, let's talk about layers. Layers let you work on different parts of your drawing separately, so you don't have to worry about messing anything up. To add a new layer, tap this little icon on the right hand side that looks like two squares stacked on top of one another. Now hit the plus sign. This creates a new layer. Now whatever I draw on that layer doesn't affect anything on the layer beneath it. If you have a look here, you can see I have my two layers in the panel and my circle on the first layer is untouched by the squiggle on the second layer. You can also toggle layers on and off by tapping on the checkbox next to the layer. Layers are incredibly handy, especially when you start working on more complex drawings in Procreate. Right, once you're happy with your drawing, it's time to save it. Tap the wrench icon on the top left hand corner and go to share. You can choose from different formats like JPEG or PNG, depending on how you want to use your artwork. If you want to work on it later, make sure you're saving it as a Procreate file by tapping save in your gallery. And that's it for today's tutorial. Now you've got the basics of navigating Procreate, creating a new canvas and doing some simple drawing. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into using brushes and how you can customize them to fit your style. If you'd like some additional resources to go along with this lesson, I've made a few lesson freebies available for my Patreon members. You'll get access to a basic brush pack, a color palette and a cheat sheet that summarizes what we covered today. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video where we'll take your Procreate skills to the next level.